went from wanting to be a performer to actually wanting to use music to help people. And basically what I do is I provide group sessions, one-on-one -on -one sessions, and I use music to provide emotional support, to work on different domains such as physical, cognitive, social, emotional. So it really touches on a variety of different aspects of their life here. So I think music can look um, just like we're having fun, but for someone who is having a tough time just coming to a different environment like in long-term care. Now this is a place they call home. So music therapy can be used to help ground people with their new home and familiarize with the staff and to also help decrease those feelings of isolation. As a group, we can collectively talk about a theme, for example, um, sadness and how do you cope with that sadness? And they learn different strategies from other residents in the group. It's really just a space to get together, to learn, to process, and sometimes to have fun too. I know it's helped a lot of people. I've seen people become very impacted. People who had never even discussed music or done anything but music, suddenly they have a voice. It's wonderful. To socialize, to get to mingle with other people and uh, to get out of the room and play an instrument and singing along and all that, have fun with other people. I think it's a great experience and what I learned from being here, comparing on my previous experiences, where I come from, I come from a background of music therapy and hospice and palliative care. And that was bringing music therapy to people who are about to pass. But here in long-term care, it's so incredibly different actually because I realize now you're helping people live. Someone's room is their home. And so there's a very intimate level, I guess, of the relationship that you're being invited into someone's home, into someone's space, and using music to help people thrive and, and live. Yeah.